Hey, fellow buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to share with you some unusual, unexpected, big money bolo items. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. Um, one of these items, is it's just kind of weird and it sold for $500. Another item is a plush that sold for over $200. And then one is just I got so excited when I saw it because it's a replacement and it only sold in the $25 range, but it is definitely something that I would pick up and something I get excited about. So, hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. If you're new here, thank you for being here. This is a featured members video. These members have joined memberships to be featured in this video. There is a join button and there's also a link down below. If you would like to join to be a part of this video, it is level two. Let's get started. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And this video is jam packed with Bolo items. And if you don't know, BOLO stands for Be On Lookout. Okay, let's get started. All right, so the first item comes from AEG's Estate Treasures, and they do estate cleanouts and also source at other places, but definitely check out their eBay store for lots of great unique, different pieces. I will link all the eBay stores down below. And if they have a YouTube channel, that will be linked down below as well. Definitely go follow these stores and these YouTube channels because they are fantastic. The first item here is this Vintage Department 56. It is the Halloween Dead End Motel. And um, Department 56 is a great brand. They range from bread and butter to huge money. Some of them go for crazy money. So if you see them, always look them up. This one um, went for, let me find it here, $90.19 with free shipping. And she picked this up at the Goodwill for $15.99 plus shipping. And I know she did talk about um, putting together wholesale lots for resellers because they do estate cleanouts. Those will be in their eBay store. And they're also talking about putting them on wholesale. So if you are not um, signed up for wholesale, there is a link down below. And if you use that link to join, you will get a $10 credit to shop. And if you decide to just be a seller and wholesale out your stuff to people on, um, to other resellers on the site, you will get a $10 credit that will come out in your payout. So either way, $10 credit, that is my referral link. It's down below. So check that out. And I do have a video on wholesale if you guys want to check that out as well. Okay. So the other item she sold, which is absolutely adorable. I love turtles. Sand Pacific Swimming Turtle Lamp. How cute is this? She got this at a thrift store for $4.99 and sold it for a best offer of $40. Truly, I think she could have held out for more, but, you know, quick flip and a great item there. All right, Franklin Hill Ventures. This is his um, eBay store, but he has really been focusing on whatnot. So if you guys are not following Franklin Hill Ventures on whatnot, oh my goodness, he is just doing amazing over there. So um, I do have a whatnot link down below. You can click on that and follow me. Please follow me. I'm going to do a show eventually. You will get a, um, I think it's a $10 credit to shop. If you use that link down below, that is my referral link and it will take you to my Bolo Buddies channel. Uh, not channel, my Bolo Buddies um, whatnot page. And then you can follow me, but then go follow Franklin Hill Ventures. He does a lot of ephemera and really cool vintage items. And again, he is just doing amazing on that platform. So um, if you're selling on whatnot, let me know down below what is in the comments. Put your whatnot tag um, so that people can go and follow you. All right, so what did he sell? He also has a YouTube channel. He's not putting much out on his YouTube right now, but sometimes he will showcase some of the items he's bringing to whatnot. So make sure you're following him on YouTube as well. So he bought these uh, Theodore Haviland plates and it looks like he has sold 10 of them. Now, this is an item that I would pass by simply because I do not enjoy shipping breakables, but I know a lot of you guys are not scared of breakables. So I am still gonna bring these 
items to you. This is what is on the back. He got these, uh, he paid $2.50 for 10 of these and he sold them for $70. So it looks like the same person bought 10 of them from him. So what he did is he did um, a multi-quantity listing. That way somebody, if they just need one replacement, they can do that. If they wanna buy all 10, they can. So he still has three available. So if you're looking for this pattern, he still has three left. Uh, this is another Holy Bible. I talked about this in another video. These Bibles, people look for Bibles on eBay. They're looking for a vintage one, a specific one. They do sell. This one is Lover of Israel, Holy Bible. It's a KJV Open Bible Edition, 1975. He did um, got this out of a clean out, so it was free to him, and he sold it for $30 plus shipping. This one right here, he sold over on Mercari, and he, on Mercari, he is FH ventures <clears throat> excuse me pardon me um and it is a scottish german kilt pin it's a brooch and he sold this for 32 dollars free shipping crafton maniac treasure connect is the next ebay store and right up here you guys it says save seller if you go down click on their links you can save them and you will get alerts when they post new items in their store or if they create a coupon, they can send that out to their followers. So definitely check that out. Um, first item sold is this Brad Keeler Artwares Ceramic Beagle Figurine. And I find that little animals, people look for these. People look for things that look like they're pets and they will buy them. So if you see these and you can get them for a good deal, definitely consider picking them up. This doggy right here, she got... Um, 200 dogs on Facebook Marketplace for $30. She said she has made a ton of money off these. This one right here sold for $23 plus shipping. So sourcing on Facebook Marketplace is definitely an option. And um, when you buy in big lots, it definitely adds up quickly. Here is a mug or brand that I've never heard of. It is Mexican. It looks like Mexican pottery. Let me see if I can get you a photo. It's beautiful, right? Right here is what it says on the bottom. So anytime I see anything that's signed like that on the bottom, that's usually a good indicator that it's maybe a one of a kind custom piece and a good pickup. This came from the Goodwill for $3, sold it for $35 plus shipping. The next item is this wooden nativity set with tree shelf and mini candles. It is made in Spain. And this came from a thrift store, $4, and sold it for $39.95 plus shipping. The next items come from Lola's Trunk Treasures. And I know I've shared this with you guys before. And I actually saw one of these at the Goodwill bins the other day. And I was just too lazy to put the work in to create the um, multi-quantity, uh, I don't know what this is called. So what she has is she's got all of the shapes. And then you can pick the color. OK, now she's selling these for a dollar forty five a piece plus shipping. So is she getting rich off of this? No, but you guys, she's sold one hundred and eleven of them. So if you take one hundred and eleven times a dollar forty five, that definitely adds up. She has this template right here. So when she gets another game, all she has to do is go in and change the quantity of these items. So it's really, really easy to do. This is something to definitely think about with vintage games and different things like that. Not necessarily this game and different games. The pricing can be, you can ask more. I mean, this is one little game piece for $1.45. So um, definitely something to consider in your business. Uh, maybe a choice of something you may want to add into your um, business model. But she said, save up to 25% when you buy more. So she does have a coupon in her store. So definitely check her out. All right. She sold this Phoenix Suns Sugar Skull. Um, he's a bobblehead. And she got this at the Goodwill for $8 and sold it for $89.99 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage uh, Mervyn's Floppy Friends plush. How cute is this? And I do say, and I got this tip from Donatella Bottolino, her YouTube channel, and uh, she sells wholesale to resellers, but she used to sell on eBay full time and she sold a lot of plush. 
And she's like, if you do a close up of the stuffed animal, it will make your listing stick out in the feed. And that is what this seller did. And you can see right here, this is the full bunny. This is the face shot. And you can pull back a little bit, kind of angle it is what Donna recommends. But um, definitely a great tip there. This bunny she got for $6 at the Goodwill and sold it for $74.99 plus shipping. Definitely a brand I have not heard about. This is what the tag looks like. Floppy Friends. This dog, I love it. Now it is Stife, but it is the newer Stife, okay? So some of these are not going to go for as much, but this one is a big guy and he is really cool. And it's got this um, original paperwork. I've never seen that before. But again, um, just like the figurine, people are looking for animals that look like their dogs. That can be plush also. This guy sold for $99.99. He is 16 inches, so he's a little bit bigger, but not too big. Free shipping on that. Goodwill, $6. So nice little find there. And these set of Christmas holiday Disney Mickey and Minnie greeters. So these would stand like at your door during Christmas time. Super, super cute. She paid $10 each at the Goodwill. And she said it did take a year to sell. And she sold these for $110 with free shipping. The next item comes from 1987 Ventures. Tracy, definitely check out her YouTube channel. I will have her link down below. She hasn't put anything out new lately, hoping she's going to come back because she is fantastic. But let's see what she sold. This is the plush I was talking about at the beginning of the uh, opening of the thing. This guy sold for $223.61. He is fantastic. He's from the 1980s Garfield 30-inch plush. And he's got that little shirt that says, are we having fun yet? And she got this in a huge lot at a yard sale. So she kind of bundled everything together. So I'm not really sure what her cost of goods was, but I'm guessing she got him pretty cheap. This here, a book of the beginnings. It is a hardcover set. She got these free at a yard sale and sold them for $144.41 plus shipping. This right here, Christmas Around the World, Vintage Skating Bear on Mirror Pond, a dollar at a yard sale, sold it for $97.88. And she did receive a message from the buyer saying that her husband packaged this up and he broke it and she had been looking for it and she was just so happy to find the item. So you guys, when you find these items that are vintage, they have special meaning to people. And I just think that is one thing that I love about what I do is I am giving people back their memories, things that they have lost. That's one thing with plush, the nostalgia of it. People just want those items they had as a kid. The next item is this Super Scrabble crossword game. She got this at a church sale for $1 and sold it for $86.34 plus shipping. So board games, you know, a lot of them are bread and butter, but you really need to look them up because some of them will surprise you. Flipping It Good is the retail arbitrage guy of the group, but he also sources at garage sales and he is definitely a bolo finder. He's also doing lost cargo pallets. You can see all of those videos over on his YouTube channel. He shows you how he goes into Ross Burlington Coat Factory and he pulls big money bolos out of those stores. So um, if you're interested in getting into that, definitely check him out. These Patagonia boots he got from a thrift store for $20 and he sold these for $250. Incredible used boots, you guys. They're pre-owned, 250 bucks. Can you believe it? If you can believe it, put I believe it. And if you can't believe it, put I can't believe it in the comments. All right, these Adidas, uh, these are soccer cleats. These are one of his Ross pickups. He paid $29.99 for these at Ross and sold these for $225 plus shipping. He sells a lot of cleats that he picks up at Ross. This little figure is a mini figure. It is a Britain's LTD 15th century knights uh, little figurine here. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get you a picture of the bottom. That's what it looks like. Um, I probably would have totally passed this by, but if I would have gotten it in a lot, I definitely would have looked it up. You guys, he sold this for $35. Um, he got it in a box lot. I'm sorry. He, it looks like he took a best offer. No, no. 
the box lot was $25 at a yard sale. So he got a whole bunch of stuff for 25 bucks. And this one item sold for 35 plus shipping. And it is definitely something I have not seen before, but it's called Swap It. S-W-O-P-P-E-T. So that's a really cool one. Gail's new and vintage. Here is her eBay store. And check her out down below. And let's see what she sold. She sold this uh, mirror and she said it took her an hour to pack. Oh my goodness. The anxiety that I would have of packaging a mirror. No way am I selling a mirror ever. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Thank you. Let me know in the comments if you've sold a mirror and how long did it take you to pack it? She got this at an estate sale for $15. She said it was a long tail item. And again, took her an hour to pack, but she did sell it for $100 plus shipping. The next item is this Dymo label writer. Uh, she upgraded to something else. So this was her item, but she had picked this up at a yard sale for $15, used it, and then decided to um, sell it uh, because she got something else. And she sold this on Mercari for $176. So that's fantastic. And this is the 450 Turbo. It looks like the smaller one. So maybe it just looks small. The next item is this Studio Pottery Holiday Cookie Jar. It's a gingerbread house. And she got this from a friend for five bucks, took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. This Marissa Christina Women's 2X Christmas sweater with the Dalmatians. Really, really cute. Could be considered an ugly Christmas sweater. That would be a good keyword for the title. People are always looking for those. Um, she said that she got it free from an estate clean out, sold it for $35.99. And she thinks now that she may have undersold it. The next item comes from Lippy. Lippy. Ha! Nikki loves snacks and I'm so glad she's back. Um, I haven't featured any of her items for a while and I went in and I sent her a message and I'm like, hey, I want to feature you. And um, she's been a member for quite a while. So thank you, Nikki, for that. And I know you haven't been sharing, but you stayed a member and I appreciate you very much. Um, she hasn't put a video out in a while and her channel is fantastic. So I hope to see um, some videos coming soon from her. But check out these bolos. She sold these My Little Pony G1s um, on auction for $209.50. She got these at a charity shop thrift store for $6. And the buyer paid shipping on those. This Mark uh, McGuinn, or I'm sorry, McGuire. It's a numbered uh, trading card. Uh, she got this from her husband and sold it for $200. This is a category I know absolutely nothing about. But I know there's money in baseball cards and stuff like that. So definitely be on the lookout. And if you know something about it, that's awesome because there is a market for sure. I absolutely love this one. I cannot believe that it did not go for more because this is incredible. The condition is amazing. If you don't know about vintage Halloween items, they can go for big money. I have multiple videos on Halloween items to be on the lookout for. Definitely check out those videos because, I mean just incredible. She sold this on auction for $200 plus shipping. It's a paper mache jack-o-lantern um, from the 1920s or the 1930s. So that's an incredible find. And she got that at a charity shop for $8. This next item is a Nana nurturing Nana dog from Walt Disney's Peter Pan by Jim Shore. Jim Shore has a very, very, um, once you see Jim Shore, you're going to know Jim Shore. And this is not a typical one that I've seen before, but she got this at a charity shop for $14 and sold it for $100 plus shipping. And let's go on to Toledo Antique. This is their YouTube channel and definitely check them out. They have a lot of how to ship breakables. I mean, they sell a lot of glass. And when I say glass, like 30 to 60 piece glass sets. And they have videos that show you how to ship those correctly. So check those videos out. This one right here is the one I was talking about. That's just an unusual, different, weird item that, yeah, maybe I would have picked it up. Maybe I wouldn't have. This is what it looks like down on the inside. It is an antique wood music box. It is beautiful. Um, they have no cost of goods for this uh, because it was a consignment deal. So people come to them to consign items and they do a 50-50 split. This ended up taking, um, they took a best offer of $500 for this and the buyer paid shipping. 
this Fenton Milk Glass Hurricane Lamp. Uh, they got this at an estate sale for $12, sold it for $144.99 plus shipping. Again, they are not afraid to ship breakables. Um, they know a lot about vintage and antique items. Also follow them over on Instagram for more tips and tricks. Um, just a fantastic channel. And their actual store is Ohio Stamp. So uh, check them out on eBay as well. They'll be linked down below. Antique or 1893 set of 13 Hemming Gray number 12 aqua glass insulators. Never seen any that look like this. These are incredible. And they sold for $199.99. They got these at an estate sale for $39. And the buyer paid shipping on that. The next items come from Money Making Mama. And she is currently going through um, a health issue. Um, it's best. Oh, let's see. I don't even know if I know how to say this. But I did watch her videos. Vestibular neuritis. Neuritis. Uh, neuritis. I can't remember how to say it. She said it in the video. But I watched it. Um, eight days ago when she posted it. So um, she's currently dealing with that and she did post a couple videos. So if anybody is dealing with that or would like to learn more about that, definitely check out those videos to see what she's going through. Um, just prayers for her for quick healing. It's going to be a process for her to get back to normal. And just if you guys could send out prayers, that would be amazing. Um, she has an awesome YouTube channel. She does a lot of retail arbitrage and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right here. Irish spring. So she picked up these Irish spring bars for 79 cents per two pack. So she's got about mm, six bucks in these probably with tax. And she lots them up. These came from Ollie's. It's a discount store. And she sold these for $32.99 with free shipping. The next item is this soft soap. So you guys are seeing here, these are hard goods, items that um, she sources at these discount stores and she bundles them for people to buy. And she's very successful with this type of reselling. And not a lot of people um, that follow me do this. So this is a great way to learn. So check out her store. It'll be linked down below. Hand soap, 49 cents each also came from Ollie. She is selling these for $19.99 with $5 shipping. Um, and you get three of them there. So, and she has five available. So if anybody's looking. And the next one is this uh, Plants Kid Organic Soluble Concentrate Repellent Deer and Rabbits. And it came from Dirt Cheap, which is another place she sources from. And she paid 80 cents a box. So she's got $1.60 for the set. And she is selling these for $44.97 plus shipping. And she has sold four of them. So that is fantastic. Dare to Dream Big 1313. I am so glad she is back. She um, was a member of the channel, took a break, and she came back to share some more bolos with us. So super excited she's back. She has some great items. Definitely check out her eBay store. It will be linked down below. She also sells on Etsy, which we're going to look at. She said these right here are from Paper Magic Group, Skeleton Witch, but she said they felt like dollar store quality, but they sold for $69.30 plus shipping. She got this in an auction lot for a buck, but you know, vintage Halloween, it just sells. It doesn't matter if it feels cheap or not. <laughs> um but pretty funny that she said that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. This is the one I was talking about in the vid in the beginning of the video. I love it. It's a cabbage patch pacifier. It's just the pacifier, you guys. Look how cute it is. It sold for $24.50 on Etsy. She's Dare to Dream Big 1313 over on Etsy also if you'd like to follow her. This one is a puff -a lump You guys have heard me talk about these before. If you see puff -a lumps pick them up. They are a big money bolo. She got this puff -a lump at a yard sale for 20 cents and sold it for $73. Uh, back to the pacifier. She got a whole box of uh, Cabbage Patch items for five bucks. So that's incredible. And this one right here, she sold on Poshmark and she's Dare to Dream Big 13 over on Poshmark. This is a strawberry shortcake oversized sweatshirt pack sun exclusive one size. Hard to find item. She sold it for $75. So look at the cute little graphic there. And she got this at a yard sale for 50 cents. So definitely very cool. And thanks for coming back, Heather. Butterflies and Gardenias Boutique. 
Here is her store. Lots of media if you guys are looking for Christmas gifts. And again, all the eBay stores are linked down below. She sold this Sabrina the Teenage Witch DVD from 2003. She got this at the Goodwill for $1.99 and she sold it for $55 plus shipping. This next item are these Tory Burch Peep Toe Wedge Shoes. These came from Nordstrom Rack and she paid $72.53 for them. Sold them for $163.08 on best offer. So her profits on this were $90. So retail arbitrage, you're going to pay a little bit more, but you can still make really good money. And this is a good example of that. The next item is this Alexis David Mexican tooled leather purse. She got this off of Goodwill, um, Shop Goodwill online. And her cost of goods was $11. And she sold this for $75 plus shipping. And the last item is this Harry Potter robe. She got it at the Goodwill for $5.99. And she said it was in pretty rough condition. And she took a best offer of $45 plus shipping for this. You can see right here. She sh uh, shows you know, just kind of the, the condition of the item. All right, you guys, let me know in the comments which item was your favorite. Ooh, woo, sorry, my uh, little booklet got caught under my computer and it was flipping it around. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you to everyone that is a member. Thank you to everyone that watches my videos watches my channel and watches my videos. Anyway, uh, thank you for being here. Leave me a comment below. Put the word hoot. Like owls say hoot. Um, and if you want to join memberships, feel free. Uh, level two gets you in videos like this. No pressure at all. It's just if you want to be a part of the video. And thanks for watching.